Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMay and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today we are making something super fun and it is gluten free. We are making what? Homemade fresh ricotta cheese. I have cheesecloth that I have dampened and laid inside a colander. I have a pot that's big enough to hold four cups of milk, two cups of heavy cream, and about a tablespoon of sea salt. And then we're going to get that to the pot. We're going to bring it to a heavy boil. And once we take it off the flame, we're going to add two tablespoons of vinegar and what? It's going to curdle. Once it curdles, I'm going to stir it depending on how big I want my curds. Dump it into my cheesecloth, put it into the sink, let it drain, and voila, presto, instant ricotta cheese. So I have my four cups of leche, milk. I got my two cups of heavy cream. and about one tablespoon of salt. Off to the stove I go. Get that burner on. I'm gonna keep it about a medium to medium high flame. Why? Because I wanna bring it up to a real boil. Now, if you're just using straight milk, you wouldn't be able to bring it to a boil. Why? Because it will actually curdle on its own. So once you add the heavy fat from the cream, you're good to go for the boil. I'm gonna give that a little stir, maybe once or twice during this process while it's boiling, and then we're good to go. Milk is done, it came to a hard boil. So I have my cheesecloth in my colander, I get it right side of my pot here so you don't have to go to the sink, and I'm just going to first add about two tablespoons of regular vinegar. Well, let's do three. So I have one, whoopsie, two, lychee, three, I'm gonna give it a nice little stir, and we're gonna let that sit. And in about one minute, we're gonna notice that the curds and whey will start to separate from the milk. So my ricotta, or well, the milk and the cream with the vinegar has been sitting and resting for about five minutes now, and we're ready to strain it and see what our homemade fresh ricotta is. Ready, and in it goes. You can see the curds there. Nice. So now we're gonna put that back. And this is draining. And when all the whey is removed, we'll be left with fresh ricotta. And then you'll be ready to use this and add it to any products that you want. And this has been another bootleg tip, and I will see you next week. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making homemade fresh burrata.